Hey everybody, I got another Ameritron AL811 amplifier in for repair. Customer bought a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. So I need to go through it and fix all of the issues with it. I'm going to add the gas discharge tubes. Needs the, the metal oxide various to remove off the board and everything else done to it that I normally do. Also needs new SO239 connectors. There's a new PL259. You see it just slips in and out. I got some bubble wrap on the floor. I just stepped on that. But anyway, um, so you see that? I'm going to change both of these. You want those super tight. I've been so busy here. With like multiple amps and boxes. Uh, it's snowing here today, so I'm going to get this done. Then I need to go outside and clear up my driveway. I also have an SB200 I'll be working on right after this. Uh, needs a lot of stuff done to it. That's going to be a, uh, that'll be an interesting repair. I need to change the the rotary switch that adds padding capacitance for the plate side. So you get to see that next. So stay tuned. I'm going to get to work and I will see you guys soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811 amplifier. I'll show you everything I did real quick. So I went in here and touched up on some solder joints. I tightened up on all the loose hardware all over the place. I removed the old SO239 connectors and I replaced them with brand new high quality ones. These ones are just worn out or whatever so they didn't have a tight grip like I showed you. Removed the metal oxide variesters. Put in a longer screw to secure the plate choke. I've explained before that this screw only catches a couple threads and a lot of times it can actually break. The choke can break. Those two threads will break or during shipping uh, the screw can actually back out, replace the meter protection diode, add a gas discharge tubes at the base of the socket. All three tubes have their filaments in parallel, so you only need one per side of the paralleled filaments. Compressed the socket clips. This, this had to come out and, the re, like I said, remove the metal oxide variesters. I cleaned the input rotary switch with deoxid gold. Clean the band switch slash output rotary switch with deoxid gold. You see the new meter protection diode there. And you see the new SO239. So this thing is all set. Tested full output on all bands. And it got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. So if you need an amp repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Thanks for watching. 73.